Okay, this is a short demo of the waving flag generator. Just go ahead and drag that in. Its default length is, I think, 20 seconds long. Should give you enough time to do things with. This version is different than the first version I did in that it's not looping anymore because there are things that you can change that throw it out of sync. So I made it long so that it can be trimmed to size or you can find your own match points. So let's take a look at the features. Click on the generator button. First thing you might notice here is there's a drop zone. So with this version of the flag generator, you can change your flag image. If the image that you have is not the exact aspect ratio of the original, then you can use this to either fit the image, which is default, or stretch it into the space allocated for it. And I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, there are several different views. Full screen, full screen reversed, there's a far view, there's the default view reversed, and a far view reversed. So you have different variations here, and let me go back to the default view for right now. You can control how wavy it is to a certain extent. Hang on a second. Okay. And the wave speed. You can show the or hide the flagpole. And in this version, I tried to engineer a cord to hold that, you know, looked like it was holding the flag in place, but it just looked lame, so it looked better. It actually looks better without it. But if you can provide your own flagpole if you want by hiding the default one. Uh, this little switch here is to correct a uh, strangeness in motion where sometimes it'll turn the crop feature of the image on automatically. I still haven't figured out why that happens, but if this turns itself on, just turn it off. Uh, that should fix the aspect ratio view, and I'll go ahead and change this. Grab your picture and just drop it into the image well, and you can change your flag. If you need to, pos if you want to use the far view and position this in your scene. You can just click on this transpose button, click on the image and drag it to wherever you need it. And you can use this to scale. Like that. Or you can use the crop tool if you need to trim up the pole a little bit if it's too far down. However, uh, I'll leave all that for you to figure out. The aspect ratio here is a little off. Let's go back to the default view. Uh, let's
reset to transform and you'll see that the image is, looks a little too large and maybe a little too square and that's where the fit method comes into play and you can change this from fit to stretch and that should bring you back into the right uh, aspect for the flag. Uh, you want to use a flat image like this uh, for this to look correct, although you can experiment any way you want with it. Uh, this skewing of the image is done automatically for you, so don't look for an image that's automatically skewed. You want uh, just a plain illustration, a flat illustration of whatever flag you want to use here. And of course, avoid the reverse views. There you go. So that's an overview of the flag generator. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. One more thing. Um, if you want to change back to the American flag at any time, uh, you can just click this little X. And it'll clear the drop zone and put back in uh, the default.